Welcome to the Meeker Classic. Meeker, Colorado, nestled in the White River Valley at the foot of the Flat Tops Wilderness, might be the most natural place in the world for one of the most challenging and prestigious competitions in the sheepdog trialing world. Since the late 19th century, sheep have summered in the alpine meadows east of Meeker. By the 1920s, sheep had joined cattle as a major industry in the area. Even today, you might catch a flock of a few thousand sheep moving through the town, usually handled by just a couple of people on horseback and a dog or two. And you might think to yourself, how can just one or two people and a couple of border collies keep so many sheep moving so calmly? The answer is simple, the amazing dogs. Said to the replace- The sport of sheepdog trialing began in Great Britain in the 1700s. Farmers would gather to determine whose dogs were best at handling sheep on the farm, and the best were used to breed the next generation of pups. The competition required the dogs to gather sheep at a great distance, drive them through obstacles, work with the farmer to separate sheep from the flock, and then pen the sheep. In the 1970s, the sport caught on in the United States, and in 1987, Meeker civic leaders and sheep ranchers got together to create the Meeker Classic Sheepdog Trials. From humble beginnings, a dozen volunteers and a handful of spectators, the Meeker Classic has grown to an international competition with a waiting list of competitors. More than 5,000 spectators annually, hundreds of volunteers, and over $20,000 in prize money. Here's how the trial works. When a team is up, the dog and handler take their places at the handler's post. The dog must stay there until given the signal to go find the sheep, which are grazing docilely over a quarter of a mile away. The dog should get a good fix on where the sheep are from the handler's post. 125 dogs are allowed into the competition. After three days of preliminary trials, the top scoring teams make it into the semifinals on Saturday, where they go through the same course. As in the preliminaries, five sheep are run, only this time two of them are collared. Any two of the uncollared sheep are shed. Time is added to allow for a very difficult maneuver, the single shed. After the sheep are penned, the dog moves the sheep out of the pen regroups them and returns all five to the shed ring. The team must then shed any one collared sheep. shed any one collared sheep. Difficult because a sheep's natural instinct is never to be alone. Then on Sunday for the finals, everything becomes more difficult. Instead of moving one flock of five sheep, the finalists have to move two separate flocks of ten. The dog brings the first flock of ten through the fetch panels and then is asked, against the dog's nature, to leave them there and turn back for another group of 10. After passing through the fetch panels, the second group joins the first and are driven as one group through the rest of the course. But it's not all sheep and dogs at the Meeker Classic. There are plenty of crafts, fun, and food all around the grounds. When you're hungry, you can choose from funnel cakes and ice cream, lamb barbecue, burgers, pancake breakfast, and hero sandwiches. When the competition takes a break, you might get a pretty good education on how these dogs are trained. The Scottish bagpiper may leave you laughing or feeling soulful. You'll see spinning, weaving, painting, saddle making, and pottery demonstrations, and there are plenty of souvenirs available. There's an annual art contest with a winner chosen for the next year's Meeker Classic poster. The art is then sold off in a silent auction. Take a minute to learn about service and therapy dogs and look into the restored 19th century sheep herder's wagon. If you attend during the week, eavesdrop and learn something remarkable from the school children attending free through our educational program. And don't forget the horse-drawn carriage ride, a stroll through historic downtown Meeker, and the fabulous barbecue and free Saturday night concert in the park. But what really sets Meeker apart from other sanctioned sheepdog trials? 
There's Meeker's large, well-informed, enthusiastic crowds who appreciate the efforts of every team. No manicured pasture or arena here. The course is run over natural terrain. And you've heard how high altitude affects an athlete. It's the same for the dog and handler, working at Meeker's 6,200 feet. Sheep like horses. So to minimize stress on the sheep, the Meeker Classic uses people on horseback to set the sheep. Also, the sheep are fresh. Every preliminary run is a first time run for each of the sheep. Some of the sheep are run a second time at either the semifinals or finals. But ask handlers and they will say above all, it's Meeker's wary sheep that keep them coming back. They are not, and let's emphasize that, not accustomed to dogs and people. They're gathered from alpine pastures outside Meeker the day before the trial, and they generally think anything moving is a predator. Now, when sheep get the better of dogs and handlers anywhere in the world, handlers exclaim, we got Meekered. But at the end of the day, we mostly remember the border collies, intelligent, always eager to work sheep, never quitting until called off, and good friends off the field. It's the Meeker Classic Sheepdog Trials. The best dogs, the best handlers, the wildest sheep in North America, and a great time for everyone. <laughs>